Thus, Lemia Alsa has played quite stringent rules into effect. The only people other allowed to use a spring other than citizens of Vane are those who obtained an application from, for the Magic Guild from Fasia. I didn't realize those rumors were being taken so seriously. I guess you aren't as famous as you thought, Nash. Still your tongue, cat. Not even Galleon himself would defy the word of Lemia Alsa. Fasia lives in Althena Shrine at the foot of the mountains to the west, a short walk away. So we have to go. We do now. We have to go to that temple. You can't use the spring without an application to the guild. For that, you must speak with Fasia, the head priestess of Althena Shrine. The shrine is at the foot of the mountains to the west of here. I guess I figured we wouldn't have it so easy. All right. Why do M and M's melt in your mouth but not in your hand? The thick candy shell, of course. Don't they teach you peasants anything? Really, they're gonna use M&M's melts in your mouth, not in your hand? And that's a lie, too. M&M's do melt in your hand. Oh, I guess Relina really likes Null. Um, I like Null. He's pretty funny. He's a funny cat thing, whatever he is. I'm sure the character would be pretty insulted. And he saves our game for us. He's really nice. I do re- th uh, I don't know. I like working designs, but sometimes using those kind of references for kids who have never seen it? So, anyone who plays this 20 years from now won't know any of these references. Well, I guess, unless they're someone who was born in that era. But the kid, a 20, a 20 year old 20 years from now isn't gonna know this. That, those commercials haven't aired in like years. Anyway, uh, okay, I already talked to her. I'll just get a rest and let's move on. We'll talk to these NPCs now. We owe our we owe our very lives to the kindness of Goddess Althena. Althena bathes our world in the light of beauty and love. Why do the mages have to have so much candy? I don't know. I know in Fire Emblem, it's the thief that has candy and not the mages. God is a beauty and love, huh? I bet she's a real cutie. Hmm. No, I'm wondering, is No attracted to human women? That's a little strange for a mythical creature like him. But I wonder if what No really is. How about you? Goddess Althena is the source of all kinds of magical power. If Althena's power weakens the world, I guess it go gives us sweet, sweet power. Nice. If Althena pops power weakens, the world will be shrouded in darkness, and monsters will rule the land. Don't worry, as long as Vane is in the sky, Althena shall never weaken. He's very proud of his hometown. How about you, Missy? Jessica looks so happy when she left. Oh, looks like we just missed Jessica. It struck me as strange, since she was only going to see someone she called a childhood friend. I suspect she's going to see a boy. What says you? What says you, audience? Oh yeah, Gaius, yeah. If you haven't played Fire Emblem Waking, Gaius is a thief who loves candy. And he's one of the thieves you can recruit. Uh, Jessica's still an apprentice, but she took off from the shrine to see her friends. She would make her an excellent priest if she applied herself instead of being irresponsible. Yeah, isn't that the truth, right? Jessica's a lot different than her father described her. In the previous, in another, if we had talked to the NPCs in Meribia, which you guys won't see, but they mentioned that, oh, actually in the last broadcast, yeah, they mentioned that Jessica is actually quite, um, she's nice, but she's very not rebellious. But if the goddess's power is dim, won't the wizards of Vane lose their powers as well? Why do you worry so much about something that would never come to pass? I don't know, Nash. You might not going to be too confident about those kind of things. Not everyone likes to come. Do you seek to become the next Dragon Master, young man? The Dragon Master... <coughs> the Dragon Master is the protector of the goddess Althena, and thus a friend to all who serve her. Does that mean you're going to help us out? Oh no, I must remain here to protect the shrine. Too bad. I wouldn't mind a little adventure. I guess it would get a little boring if you stayed here. 
But I guess you need someone to watch the shrine, right? This thing goes kaboom, it's not good. Priests who, priests who serve the goddess Althena are blessed with the most sacred of all magics. The ability to heal injury and illness with the power of the goddess's blessing. That sounds a lot like Luna's power. Luna can do the same thing with her songs. A singer with the power to heal? In all, my, all of my years as a priest, I've never heard of such a thing. You must be mistaken. Hmm. So Luna seems... I don't know if Luna took offense to that, but it is a little weird that... So Luna's the only po person with the power to use song to heal people. Uh, we can go up these stairs, I guess. But there's not a whole lot we can do except observe the spectacle. Uh, and we can go up as well. Uh, this is only seems to be a way to for people to view a procession from above. I'm gonna take a water break. My water break's not as long as a soccer player's, but oh, I still do need to take it every so often. <coughs> not good to destroy my voice. Uh, let's go on. I'm assuming... Oh, the head priest must be here. Or priestess? Or... Oh, yeah, it's head priestess. What am I talking about? It's Fasia. <laughs> she knows the phonic hymn. Um, that's a Tales of Abyss reference. Is anyone that anyone know this, knows that? But, uh, yeah. But, no, I won't comment too much about that. Alex, I'll speak with Fasia. Wait right here. I wonder what Fasia looks like, Alex. But she, if she works for Athena, she must be cute. Okay. Are you blushing, Alex? Uh... <laughs> uh... Okay, here she is. Let's talk to her now. Oh, I guess a cutscene's coming. Good day to you all. I am Fascia, head priestess of the Temple of the Goddess. I have received word that you are on a journey to become the new Dragon Master, Alex. I pray that you choose to stay in vain and become the guardian of Althena, for as you know, we haven't had a Dragon Master since the days of dying came to an end. Hmm. So that's the, this is the High Priestess, uh, Fascia. Since Dragon Master dines, pa I'm sorry, I can't imitate voices, so you'll have to bear with my re, my um, I was in Chinese, it's called Langdu, but I, I don't know, I'm just reading things out dramatic. My dramatic reading is kind of how it sound, how that translates to. So <clears throat> anyway, since Dragon Master dines passing, no one, no one man has proven worthy of the title. Perhaps you would be better served to study the ways of magic in vain, Alex. Well, yes, I would I would like to do that. That is a much more certain path to success than trying to become Dragon Master. Mmm, wait, you're telling Alex to stop learning what he's doing and learn magic and specialize only in magic? I don't know, I don't like, think he wants to do that. There you go. Yeah, that's right. Wait, why is Null have to talk for me? Whatever. But Alex doesn't want to enter the Magic Guild. He's looking for the three remaining dragons. Clark sent him. Becoming, becoming a Dragon Master is much more difficult than you might imagine, young Alex. Again, why not stay in vain for a while and see all that the Guild has to offer? You might find a career in magic more rewarding and much less dangerous. Huh, she seems insistent that we join a, the magic guild. And don't forget that two of the four heroes call Vayne their home. I don't think Alex wants to give up being a dragon master though, so... She's right, Alex. You'll never find a more exciting place than Vayne. And while you'll, you'd never be as skilled with magic as I am, I'm sure you'd enjoy learning it nonetheless. Uh, I don't know, guys. This doesn't seem so good. See, even Nal agrees with me. 
that <laughs> Nalls like Tipo for Alex. Yeah, I don't know if I like. Huh. Tipo is also very. In Tipo is a t character from Tales of Exilia, a PS3 game, which is far more recent. He's quite talkative as well, and he sounds like a child. But anyway, I don't know, Alex. At least think about it, Alex. Please accept this application form and at least visit Vane. I th I don't know what we should do. So we have the application. I guess we will consider her words for now. It is heart it is heartening to know that even as the vile tribe moves close to our borders, there are brave heroes such as yourself willing to protect us. Take care, Alex. I wish you success on whichever path you choose to travel. Basically, they rather enlist stronger people. Huh. Oh, she's calling out Luna now. Excuse me, Luna, was it? I'm told that your singing is absolutely wonderful. There's nothing the goddess loves more than a beautiful song. Tipo is a male from what I remember, even though he sounds like a child or kid. Didn't you play the game? They refer- Oh, in um, in Cousin Japanese it's a little more obvious, but yeah. Anyway, you must return and sing for me someday soon. I- I'd be honored, Vasya, but I still need a lot of practice first. I look forward to your return, Luna, as well as the sweet sound of your voice. How do you know her voice sounds sweet? Hmm... Okay, so we are back. I guess there's not much I can do here. Here's the organ if I wanted to play it. So that is the... Um, that is the statue of Althena herself. Uh, okay! Oh, excuse me. Seems legit. No. Seems nice. Let's talk to the attendant here. You're traveling to Vain with Fascia's blessing? I have to admit, I'm surprised. You children don't look like magicians to me. That's that's probably why Fasia is head priestess and your chief bootlicker. Jeez, no, you're so mean. You're not authorized to use the spring of transmission. Good luck. She didn't even say anything bad to you guys. Well, I guess she insulted you and said you don't look like magicians. Return here whenever you seek guidance or rest, children. I will pray to the goddess to keep you safe and make you strong. Sis, sh uh, Sis said she'd be back soon. What's taking her so long? Sis? I didn't know Master Mel had two daughters. I don't think he does. I guess it's... Sis, what took you so long? I've missed you so much. Come here and give me a hug. Huh? I think... Wait, I know you've mistaken me for somebody else. Huh. Okay, so she just says the same thing. Althena dwells in the goddess tower atop the mountain upon which it is built. I've never seen her, of course. You couldn't reach the tower unless you could fly. Should I go take a look, Alex? Haha, <laughs> I don't think your tiny wings could get you all the way up there, no? Oh well. How about... Welcome to my house. Would you kids like some blueberry pie? Fresh, bra fresh baked and delish. This priest seems a bit loopy, Alex. Do you think he recently took a blow to the head? Huh. I hear that the goddess Althena is so beautiful that men cannot gaze upon her without falling hopelessly and permanently in love. But her voice is supposed to be even more beautiful. I'm sure she can sing, but as good as Luna? I don't think so. No, you're so silly. Oh. No, it's very... Manting Luna. Okay, I guess we've talked to all these people, so we can go to Vein now with our application in hand. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do in this shrine anymore. Water break. I'm gonna save 